of these pieces are, are really much, um, you know, some of them, they belong to my mother and actually, yeah, some of them belong to my mother and majority of them are more than 20 years old. And there's just one bag that is like an ancient bag that is older than me. It's already more than 30, 30 years old. So you know that I'm definitely over 30. So let's start with jewelry pieces. And the very first jewelry piece that I'd love to share, and I think I'm, I'm keen to know whether you know you have and you own any luxury pieces, probably from your parents, from your mom, but um, I'm wearing it right now. This is actually a gold, um, I, I think it's, it's just really well made. And you know, after 35 years, I think this, my mom, um, you know, she probably owned this like what more than 35 years ago. There's a story with this, um, as well as like some of the other pieces. So my mom used to work for Chanel. So she she was an employee of Chanel, and it's not the the Chanel boutique. It's for Chanel Beauty, and you know during that time, you know they they had you know, staff discounts, right? And, you know, she was able to get access to, you know, the leather goods or, or jewelry or makeup, whatever. So yeah, this is definitely more than 30 over years ago. Um, I don't even know the price of this, but when I'm just looking at like the pre-loved market for vintage items, this came up definitely still on the pricey side. This, I mean, if I were to sell it, I mean, definitely I would make some money out of it, but no way am I going to sell it. This is actually a a clip on so if I just pull it out um, this one actually has a clip here sorry my nails are like you know this it's chip yeah but this is easy and it's made in France um, really easy to wear for those people who you know don't really have a stud clip ons are just so easy this is really a gold gold it's not rose gold it's gold so you really need to pair with, you know, jewellery or items that are probably not really silver or else just like clashes. Yeah, so this piece that I really love and, you know, when I when I first saw it, I was like quite young um, and I used to think like, man, this is old, this is like for old grannies and now that I'm wearing it, I'm like, hmm, okay, I think that I could rock it, you know? So I think I think maybe times have changed for me. Um, definitely taste, you know, people's tastes change and my taste definitely change. I'm liking pieces that are much older and I appreciate, right? I mean, appreciate uh, even how well made it is. And it's just so, it just gets me thinking like, we need to cherish whatever that we have, right? And really just love the items that we possess and really just possess our own possessions, literally. So the second thing is also, you know, since we're in the jewelry collection, this piece is something really, uh, really dear to me. This is not a Chanel, this is not a, it's not a Chanel, it's not whatever, but it is from the house of Lalique. And this was actually given by uh, my dad. I don't think that this is, that you'll ever s see it being sold. Um, this is actually a bracelet and it's in 24 uh, karat gold by Lalique. I'll probably put it down on the description box. So my dad gave it to me when I was seven years old. So he was also working in the consumer business in the FMCG retail luxury sector. So, um, you know, I don't know how he got this, but he got it and he gave it to me when I was seven. And and I've never used this, I've never worn it out. So I've always kept this really safe in my jewelry case and you know maybe I should wear it, but it's really in excellent condition. It's cute. I think it's really cute. I used to think like man, this is all all lady stuff, right? But this is just absolutely beautiful. So this is a piece from Lalique. I don't know how much it costs, but it's something so dear to me and it just looks luxe, right? It's quite heavyweight as well, so it's quite cute. I love it, so I'll never ever sell it. That's the thing, like never. Um, the next jewelry piece is also something so cute. Um, this is actually a piece from Kenzo. And it's made in France. Um, there's no Kenzo sign here, but it's called Ungaro. This is actually a necklace. 
um, and you know it has like a piece here at the end so this one goes behind um, yeah you could actually wear it kind of hanging dangling so it just looks like that like so so it has like a little flower thing coming out I'm not wearing it properly but I could actually rock it right now with my outfit actually I could I could yeah but this is so cute like I think this is some form of stone you know like those thing that that they probably blow into like some kind of glass thing I don't know I don't even know it's like what it's what it says but it's quite cute I've like I've worn it several times so this is actually from my mum don't ask me where I got it, I don't know the story, but I've been keeping it for more than 20 years um, and I love it. This is this is a piece that is just so dear to me. You know, I really, really like love this piece. It's absolutely stunning, it is cute and I think it's really whimsical. It is one of a kind. Um, it is something that I'll never ever sell in my whole life. Never, ever. So to the next piece, um, this is also something really interesting and it's it's a birthday gift from my mum and I got it when I was about eight years old it's like yeah so I started my whole luxury craze when I was really young and this was my very first um, piece it's a wallet it's an LV wallet and it's more than 20 25 years old that it's just really well made i haven't worn it since um it's actually made in france you can see the sign here there's a little bit of chipping going on over here and over here this has gone with me through thick and thin um this has literally literally dropped into a, a toilet bowl before yes it has dropped into a toilet bowl and i've revived it so yes, <laughs> probably you guys would have a lot of crazy stories to share about your own um, luxury purchases or some history about things that you probably have. But I'm just interested to know your, um, your story. But my story is that I got this as a birthday gift from my mom. Um, I think this cost about 330 Singapore dollars. Um, I can't even remember the, the name of this wallet, but I'll try to find the name of this. This is discontinued, so um, it has one, two, three, four, four, five, six card slots inside, as well as, oh, I've actually got some stuff inside, but yeah, look, it's a little bit torn, but it's something that I will never, you know, this piece, it's something that I'll never throw away, right? And this is the wallet kind of coin pouch. But I love this. I remember, um, so my mom also works in the luxury retail sector. Used to, used to, right? I mean, she came from Chanel and all that. So she, um, there's a story, like I knew that, like I loved going into LV when I was young. Like I love, like I used to always visit her, right? I mean, she would be in the storefront. Like she would be literally there and um, I would I would visit her and you know sometimes you know, when she's off of work you know we'd just go to you know the luxury store together we would visit Chanel we'd visit um, Dior LV LV was really my first love um, this is really my very first luxury piece that I ever have so yeah probably I'll do another probably a video on why you know why and when I first got started into luxury but my love for an appreciation for the history you know the the brands and the legacy of this fashion houses are you know I, I've just a huge appreciation for you know luxury houses and yeah they just started when I was really young so that's it guys and the, the number one most craziest uh, older than me piece would be this um, beautiful Chanel piece and this is a medium um, medium Chanel like small medium right and you probably can't see it you know a lot and I don't I don't really see this a lot in the vintage uh, market I had to get this fixed because so my mom didn't really take care of the bag um, 
if you see inside, this piece has it used to be like burgundy, but she kept it in a she kept it in a cupboard, and literally inside it was like mel it melted, like it was peeling off. So I think when she took it out after like five to eight years of not using the bag, she took it out, and when she opened it, it literally made like a sound because the leather was sticking to each other and she got it repaired internally and over the years, like I think two years ago um, you know, this collapsed, I literally, like I had to repair it because it couldn't collapse well this one is actually a button closure it states, um, yeah, th this is actually a not a L, like not a Chanel one that's kind of stuck into it. It was it's just like an overlap, but it's still in really perfect condition. If you look at the clasp, it's a bit different from the current uh, ones. There is actually like a little dot here. I still don't know what this means. I need to check it out. But it's still in really perfect condition. The straps, I would say that. You know, after owning a few um, modern pieces of Chanel versus like the older ones, the the older versions of Chanel they're much more better quality as compared to to you know the the older versions. So this is actually a piece that's a bit short, so I could only wear it as a shoulder piece, like a shoulder kind of thing. Right? I can't kind of put it around here. But what I could do is that I could shorten the strap. Um, you know, to so the strap is here. It has this part, and the thing about this kind of piece, right, is that it, whenever it kind of, just look at it, it kind of rubs into it. So over time, if you use it, this piece, you know, this this actually get get um, kind of this abrasions going on. So that's why I don't really use this piece a lot. I use this piece only um, for special occasions when I'm going for like wedding, but, but most of the time I keep it in a dust bag, in a Chanel dust bag. So um, how I take care of my luxury goods is that um, this room is the only room that I store all my luxury pieces. And I have a dehumidifier machine in my room and every day I would on my dehumidifier for two hours um, so that it could just dehumidify the room or else you know um, if I don't use it humidity humidity levels are about like 80% in Singapore but if I use it it kind of hovers down to about 47% so I keep my room really dry and um, I don't open the windows in the like throughout the day like I just don't like dust kind of coming in and I just don't like humidity coming in and just ruining the bag so um, I think I really encourage you if you do um, if you if you want to really prolong the lifespan of your luxury bags take care of it right take it out of you know its dust bags and let it kind of breathe right once a year, once every six months, I will do um, some cleaning and conditioning of the leather, and you know probably I'll do a video of what um, what cleaner I use and you know how I kind of keep it in shape as well. What I store inside the bag, um, there are a lot of perhaps things that you can store. You don't really have to spend more money to to put stuff in your bag. Really, I mean there as many ways of how you could really retain the shape of the bag. Um, the side of this, this one is kind of, it had to be remade again because, you know, my mom <laughs> literally, you know, she didn't really take care of her bags and um, this, and there's a few other bags that she's like sold already, but um, this is one bag that, you know, she's left for me and yeah, this is just a beautiful piece. This is really an older than me piece and still in perfect condition. So yeah, that's it guys. And thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I would love to hear your story. I would love to hear, you know, your story of each individual pieces if you have and your thoughts around them and how do you look after them and, you know, what do you think about vintage, you know, goods? What do you think about or should we be keeping, you know, our, our vintage items or, or, or things that, you know, is being passed down by family or do you think that we should get rid of it? So yeah, let me know your thoughts and I'm always keen to know.